My name is Roberto Lugo. I'm an artist, potter, poet, and educator. I grew up here in Philly. I grew up in Kensington, um, but I didn't start taking pottery until my mid-20s, and I've been an artist right now for about um, 15 years. Pottery for me means leaving a legacy, not just my legacy, but the people that I represent on my pottery. I tend to uh, paint portraits of people that have paved the way for me to have the opportunities that I do on my work. And so when I'm representing my culture, I want to look deep into you know, where my bloodline comes from. So if you look at a lot of these patterns, there's actually kente cloth on here, there's Kuji sweaters, there's Greek, so I'm mixing up these different things, things that people recognize, but then also things that maybe people don't recognize and kind of like putting them together. I grew up doing graffiti and most of my education in terms of art education came from the streets. If you look closely at my work, it's really inspired by a lot of the murals that were here when I was a child looking at how mural arts um, you know, started as the anti-graffiti network and how um, a lot of the people who painted, including Tariq Trotter, um, were, were part of the mural arts in Philadelphia. For me, education is crucial, if not more important than people even knowing who I am because of the fact that I feel like the more that I'm able to do what it is that I do, I can foster and support other artists and just let people know that these types of things are things that they're capable of doing, that they're, that's available to them. Because those aren't things that I grew up with. So um, for me, being an educator is not just about teaching people about process, which is really important, teaching them tangible things to be able to make, but also being able to be a representative and also a source of inspiration for them.